so I got to go to a few of my favorite stores and I thought I'd show you what I got. Good morning, everybody. We are back to regular day in the life summer vlogs. I guess this is really the first day in the life summer vlog at home. We are so happy to be back. We've been back a week and a half now. Is that right? We had a horse show. Y'all, we've just been rolling and going. Summer feels like it's half over already. I'm doing a zip fizz. Um, now, I did a bunch of Wonder Bread yesterday, or the Maria Emmerich's Protein Sparing Bread. I cut it all up, um, and I'm keeping it in the fridge. I'm just doing some butter toast. I might have something else later, but this just sounds good right now. I also pulled everything out last night so I can do Monster Cookie Bars um, this afternoon, or at some point. Merritt has a game this morning, so we're kind of getting ready for that. But I had some of these um, left over from McCoy's birthday party, and I thought, oh, we should make... Um, Americana, Fourth of, not Fourth of July, but not Fourth of July yet. Anyway, um, just summertime, um, <laughs> get together early. Monster cookie bars just for fun. And then I'm going to make these keto chocolate chip cookies that I got at Ross, um, a while back. So that is what's going on today. I'm going to go get ready and then we'll catch you all up on what has been going on. Good morning, y'all. It feels like it's been forever because it has, but it's been so nice to be uploading all of our vacation videos um, while we're here doing baseball and horse showing and all that stuff so that I have, um, I've just had time to kind of regroup. But now we're back. We're back to vlogging. It is Wednesday. Merritt has a game this morning. Coy doesn't. This is like his fourth game. Is this your fourth game, Merritt? fourth or fifth anyway we have been baseballing it every day they are loving that um well, I don't have much time now so we're gonna go to the game <laughs> I'll catch you up on all the stuff we've done since we haven't been vlogging um but we've been loving summer y'all long live summer all right now off to baseball all right this buddy's got his drink he's ready to go Coy's in the garage ready to cheer him on and he gets to play next week right buddy Okay, let's do it. I'll show you those when we get back. Okay, game is over. They won. Mary, did you do so good? Yes. Coy went with Craig. We just pulled over so he could get in the truck with Craig because he decided after we left that he wanted to. Um, okay, sorry. I was in the... <laughs> in the middle of a gravel road anyway that he wanted to go with Craig. So we dropped him off. Now I got Merritt. Um, should we go get a drink? <laughs> so we're gonna go get a drink and then we're heading back home. All right, he picked out sugar cookies for him and Koi and Craig instead of, ooh, instead of a drink, but I got Diet Dr. Pepper. Now we're heading home. Okay, for those that are interested, we cut the wheat down here and they're wind rowing it and then they're gonna bale it. Craig and McCoy were just off over there. Now I don't see them anymore checking it out, but it looks so good. Okay, y'all, I'm home, and I thought I better put something in the crock pot quick for tonight because I'm not going to want to mess with it. So we're just doing the Cool Ranch shredded tacos. Y'all know I've made these a million times. It's um, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, three of olive oil, which I don't really have, so we'll have to improvise. And then a packet of taco and a packet of ranch. I just use my home, uh, own homemade, and it just shreds beautifully for tacos, so we'll have that tonight. Okay, we're back home. I got lunch going. The boys just went outside. I don't know if they're going to swim or what they're doing, but it's a beautiful day, so they're outside. Okay. Okay, what do we need to catch you up on? Horse show. Our first horse show was amazing. They had such a great two-day weekend. All the horses did good. The boys did good. It was so much fun to see everybody again. We have a horse show family that we just love to spend our summers with, so that was so much fun. We did end up spending the night, and we stalled the horses, so it was like a whole weekend of fun. We're going to do two more of those weekend where we spend the night shows, and the rest are just either um, we drive back and forth or other one-day shows or whatever, but we have, what, five more show? Um, I need uh, my socks left six more sh I don't know. we have a bunch of shows left we just started merit needs socks um anyway it was great it was great 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 uh glad to be back in the saddle anyway <laughs> <laughs> baseball has been so great um, both the boys are loving it um, we practice every morning unless we have a game and then they play the game instead of practice but they have just been having so much fun with that um, so that has been good their team Merritt's team Coy's just had one game they don't play as many games because they're um, just first and second graders but Merritt's team has done so well this year so that is exciting um, I don't know I have been like recording things here and there like I have a little TJ Mack no is it TJ Max Marshall's Ross, maybe it is. I can't remember. I have a haul. Um, a little, my eye is like twitching. I don't know if you can see that. It's driving me nuts. Um, probably from lack of sleep. <laughs> oh, 
I thought I was busy when I was seven. Now I'm like a million times busier. That's okay. Um, so I have a haul for you. I have a few things the boys have been doing. I think I got some footage of when we first, um, got the pool going, which they have been living in. Um, we actually went to the big pool in a couple towns over. It's like a whole huge lazy river, big crazy pool the other day um, with some of their friends, and that was so fun too. I didn't, th I don't think I recorded any of that, but that we've just been going, 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 doing all the fun things. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna put all that footage in right here, just one after the other, so you'll know that's what that is. And then when you see me back here again, you'll be back to real time. <laughs> okay, y'all. Sunday morning, I had to show you the orange pants with this top that I showed you. I was gonna pair it with. We probably have like 90 degree weather, so I can wear this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm out and about to church, but I've got this top that I got from a boutique a few years ago. I love it. It's so cute. And then my um, orange cute wide leg capris with some little leather flip flops, some big orangey peachy tassel earrings, and I'm ready to go. Happy summer, y'all. First swim of summer. They say it is freezing, so they're just tiptoeing around right now <laughs> until it warms up a bit. Oh, the water looks so nice and pretty, y'all. Let's capture this for posterity because it won't last long. <laughs> I keep forgetting to show y'all the flowers lit up at night, but they are just gorgeous. And my flamingo, and the hydrangea, and the peony, and the little tulips down here, and then my other little squatty flamingo. Oh my goodness, these bring me so much joy, y'all. I want a whole garden of solar flowers now. All right, y'all, I'm not vlogging today, but I did have to go to the big city to take all the horse show clothes to the cleaners. Uh, so I got to go to a few of my favorite stores and I thought I'd show you what I got. Um, I wanted to get some more of those turquoise um, Nautica towels I got a while back because I'm loving them. They are so soft and they wash up so great. Um, they didn't have the turquoise, but they had this sort of golden yellow and I have that. I'm sorry, I've been running around. <laughs> oh, trying to get stuff ready for the boys. Anyway, um... I have this color in my bathroom. It's kind of like my whole house is the yellow and the red and the turquoise. So I did get two yellows. That's all they had. So I grabbed two of those. Um, and then I got, they didn't have the hand towels. They only had the washcloths. So I got a set of the washcloths for $4.49. I think there's four in here. So I thought that was a good deal. Um, I'll keep looking and see if they have any of the hand, cloths cause I, hand towels because I would like to have some of those. But this is just the other towel. Then I got this big tub for $3.99. It's just a kind of bendable collapsible tub i'm either going to put it out i'm going to put it out by the pool for sure but either to let the boys wash their feet off in before they get in the pool to try to help keep it clean or just to gather like goggles and swim toys too um we had one similar to this last year that i had picked up from walmart and it just didn't make it through the summer so we needed a new one i also could not resist this gorgeous pineapple platter y'all it was for $4.99 on clearance. I don't know why it was on clearance, but I had to have it. I'm going with that tropical kind of pineapple theme outside, and I knew I had to have that. Um, also, I think that was it from Ross. Then I went to uh, my Marshall's Home Goods combo and saw these sort of um, poof, poof, poof <laughs> ottomans in this kind of tropical print, and I just fell in love. They had different ones, circle ones and bigger ones and all sorts of different shapes and sizes with this pattern, but I thought this would be the best. Craig is currently uh making us adirondack chairs adirondack adirondack i can never say it right um that he did not get finished with last summer because it just got too crazy but i'm hoping that we can i can pair these with those and have like ottomans um we have some of this kind of teal color adirondack chairs out there now but they're kind of plastic and they've seen better days but i just love these and i could not pass them up they were $19.99 a piece um i think these were the cheapest ones these were the smallest that they came in and i just really liked that size so i got them and they're in um a material that says it's supposed to resist mildew and of course it can get wet and all that stuff for outdoors so i'm hoping the last i know it's probably like not very practical for farm living but i just thought they were so cute so i got those and then i saw this for my big table let me see if the color will come off right it's it's the same colors you know that i'm going for the neon uh, not neon the lime green and the pinks and the orange and the turquoises but it's like the um utensil caddy to put out on the table um, when we eat outside so i just thought that was so cute um i also have been on the hunt for another set of these uh flamingo plates and i did score another set and i saw that they had two cans now too that are adorable honestly i love flamingos better but those two cans ones the two can ones were so stinking cute and it's the naturally danny co brand um 
and they're of course dishwasher safe and all that so now i have eight of those um we're cooking out tomorrow night the boys are having some friends over and we're gonna do burgers and hot dogs so i thought this would be the perfect time to pull my flamingo plates out so that is cute and it sort of all coordinates with the tropical kind of flamingo vibe and then uh, well of course this too i think looks nice with it oh my goodness so cute i need to get some solids too just like some solid serving pieces you know just to have and then i got um some watermelon um what are these called makeup wipes i just always pick makeup wipes when i go and i thought those looks fun and summertimey i saw this um foam at last coconut sugar scrub by dirty works and it has a cute little flamingo on it y'all you know that's why i bought it but i do love a good sugar scrub and i wanted one for the summer so i picked that up um this was 4.99 this was 3.99 sorry my camera cut off this was 3 .99. i don't know what, what all you got but this was the makeup wipes for 3.99 and this was 4.99 and then i was saying that i love anything pacifica their scents are always so good and this is just like a quench like a kind of like a face moisturizer basically and it's in pineapple and so i'll grab that just to have for summertime and then y'all know me and my sunscreen i'm obsessed with sun care <laughs> cannot be in the sun and so i love to get these little small ones that will just kind of go down in my purse um so i'll grab a little copper tone i thought the packaging was super cute i don't know if it smells different or not but it was cute for 2.39 i couldn't find any i got one at walmart the other day I'm gonna see it because I'm tired um and just the regular kind but I wanted to get a couple for summer but I could only find one so now I have a couple and then I had to go to Walmart y'all and I went ahead and picked up some plastic wear to go in my little caddy and I can just pull this out um during the summer and I'll just have um kind of forks and spoons and all that ready to go and they'll match along with my plates and I just grabbed some napkins too to go with it I know extra but that's me I did not get this today but I got it the other day and I don't think I ever showed you it's um a big flamingo i wish it was more bright colors it's a little more muted for my taste but it still kind of matches and coordinates with the tropical feel but it's just a big outdoor centronella candle i just picked that up at walmart and then i got this i think this has two cans on it not flamingos but it's still super cute and it's got the right colors um and it's just a big um vinyl tablecloth uh, to use if we need it and it coordinates so cute it's a little much with the actual flamingo plates but if you weren't using the plates and you were just doing um, a tablecloth on there, I think it all kind of goes. Anyway, I'm just doing a tropical vibe outside, and I'm loving it. It's so exciting. I love summertime, y'all. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna put the I want to put the silverware or the plasticware in here and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, y'all! This is so fun and tropical. I think these coordinate so cute together. I need to get like some. I don't know usually walmart and y'all know i have that stuff from like my party planning and stuff i have a lot of just like flat trays and bowls and different things i don't have i don't think i have any color maybe i have a green that would go um but usually walmart comes out with all that stuff and i could like just get some stuff to kind of coordinate with it so i don't have to spend an arm and leg they had bowls in this print cups and a pitcher but it just gets so pricey when you have to buy eight so I just passed on it and thought I could find just some solid stuff at another time. So anyway, I am loving this look, y'all. So much fun. So we got patriotic and strawberries in the front and tropical flamingos in the back. First barbecue of the year, y'all. All my stuff looks so cute. Gotta get a video for all the munchkins get over here. All right, again, I'm not vlogging today, but I keep doing fun things and I wanted to make sure I added it to the vlog, but um, they got these for Easter and I wanted to show them in case y'all were interested in getting them for your kids. I got them off Amazon. They're linked um, in the boys' toys and games. Um, they are supposed to be really neat and the boys have been into the last couple of days doing like um, these digging kits. I had some other ones that they hadn't done yet and I remembered we had these stuffed in the closet after Easter. Um, and they've been like doing lots of like science things like um, recording their hypotheses, <laughs> different stuff like that. I got them a little computer out to kind of pretend like they were scientists or whatever so they wanted to do this today so we're set up here outside just on our box that we keep all our summer stuff in um, i have them over here in the shade so i'm gonna open all these up and they're gonna dig um and see what they can find all right i got all the instructions set up the magnifying glass the little bag the collection sheet the actual crystal digging kit and all the tools now as soon as they're done feeding their ponies for the morning they can come do their digging kits we found something already at the top of his. Ooh, what's this little tool? Like a little hammer? Yeah, okay. Fabulous. So fun. I love that it comes with these little like cases and you can put the um, gemstone or whatever crystal that you find in here and then display it. 
very cool. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh my goodness, there's so many gems in this thing. We found these two. I think this one might be amethyst. This purple one. I don't know what this white one is. Quartz. Quartzite. They're busy. Koi took his over here. He's got his MP3 player on. I'm gonna get copyrighted. Ooh, looking good. <laughs> and here's how it all turned out. He needs to write the names on them if he wants to, but I think that is so fun. I love that. I can't. I think they were like twelve dollars for the whole thing. So worth it. Hours of fun. So now you're all caught up. I did want to go into some bad lighting. Uh, show you that our ottoman, of course my living room is a disaster. Our ottoman came in. Uh, we ordered it back in, was it February? January, February, right after, or was it before Christmas? I can't remember. To match our couch. We had gotten the couch last year um, and loved it. And we hemmed and hauled and trying to figure out what we wanted to do for an ottoman. And finally, we were just like, let's just go in and order my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. Craig's sister and brother. Craig's sister and his wife. Our in-laws. <laughs> Um, on a furniture store on a couple of furniture stores and that's where we got the couch from and they had the ottoman in the same leather to match and everything anyway let me show you the ottoman i'm so excited that it is here i think it is so stinking cute it's round of course and so it just fits right here with the couch and the blankets and everything on the floor you know how we roll around here but the coolest thing is and i didn't even really know this is that it's really heavy y'all but it opens up and i can store blankets and we could store games or whatever we wanted to in there so i'm just loving that it is um lazy boy all of it is not focusing um it's there we go it's uh and the couch is all messed up <laughs> <laughs> anyway it looks nice sometimes but it's all lazy boy and then of course this is lazy boy too in the leather um it's like real leather so that way hopefully it'll hold up longer than our last couch did but uh i can't remember exactly what the leather was called and i don't even know how i would find that but anyway it's got the pretty little brads all around the bottom that kind of gives it a little bit of a western touch and we are just absolutely loving the boys are like all the time laying on the ottoman <laughs> like sitting on the ottoman or being on the ottoman they just love it so anyway i had this ottoman that goes with my chair that i always sit in over here because craig had just had enough and he wanted an ottoman over here to have his feet up um when he sits over here at this couch so now that one got moved back over to my chair and i really like it because it's handy to have for my chair but it makes the room feel like way too um cluttered so i probably will take it back downstairs for right now i'm just kind of leaving it up here so it is what it is I don't know. What do y'all think? I think it's just too much. Like, too many ottomans, too many brass nail. I don't know. It just doesn't look good to me, but it is kind of nice to have an ottoman <laughs> by my chair. Okay, y'all. I'm going to take uh, a break here with y'all. I'm going to sit over there at that chair, look at it one more time, and um, edit my last vacation video, which will go up Friday. This one's going up Monday, so I can get all that done and uploaded, so I won't have to worry about that the rest of the week. Um, they have a camp Today's Wednesday, I said that. They have a camp on Friday, um, kind of a 4-H space camp thing, and I'm going to vlog that day, too. I won't go to the camp with them, but I'll be going and probably go to Walmart and be here and there and everywhere, so I'll vlog that day, too. But um, right now, I need to get that vlog edited. Well, maybe not yet. I want to put these away, and I wanted to show them to you before I put them away, but I have been wanting some flare capri um, jeans since I got those orange pants from Stitch Fix. Speaking of Stitch Fix, I have... That's Merit's uniform stuff. <laughs> I have a stitch fix over there that I've not even opened. Oh my goodness. I don't think I'll do like a sit down. Maybe I'll try it on today or Friday. Anyway, I don't know. I, I don't know. Just stay tuned for the stitch fix. Um, we'll see. It's not, I don't really, I'm not really in love with any of it. So that's why I'm just kind of like not uh, too excited to try it on. But I have wanted some of these since I got the orange stitch fix um, wide leg capris that I was obsessed with. And I still am. They're so cute. But I was like, oh, I wish I could have some jean ones. And so I got on Amazon, y'all. These are so cute. They're nice and wide leg. They have a high little waist. They have a cute little um, button front. And they are so stinking cute they're just basic they're just wild leg um capris and they are so cute um i think i said that already but i do love them i tried them on and i think i'm gonna we're going to a concert on saturday with some friends uh that we had got at the church auction i don't know if you remember that or not little big town i think it is i don't know whatever i don't know i'm not a real big concert person but it'll be fun to go with our friends and um listen to some good music but i think i'm gonna wear those with a cute top or something um, on Saturday. But I will put them in my fashion storefront. They're so, so cute. I know I said that already, but they were like, 
30-ish bucks so I feel like for a pair of cute capris um, that's totally worth it and they're flattering and they're I don't know it's just a fun um, kind of style right now I think I guess they're in style I don't know <laughs> I like and I guess that's all that matters so anyway I'm gonna link those in fashion below and I'm gonna go put them away now so they're not sitting out here anymore and then I'm gonna go edit that video update on um, the math books we have been doing one page a day it has been going great I think I showed y'all these they're called um let me see Koi here um yeah they're called summer solutions but it's simple solutions um, from their website Koi's been doing more than one page because he likes it so much Merritt has just been doing one page <laughs> But it is going good, and hopefully we're keeping up on all of our math. Um, and then, of course, they have been... I don't get this. What does it say? Another Write sentence. another sentence. So you say, oh. instead of 2 plus 9, you say what? 9 plus 2. Good. And hey. they have been doing um, also three chapters. Oh, that's another thing we did. We went to the bookstore. They had never been to a bookstore. And I'm like, I used to love to go. Yeah, I yeah. like this video. If you um, went to Walden Books as a kid, like that's my favorite thing to do is go to Walden Books and look at all the books. Um, maybe not my favorite thing to do, but I really enjoy doing it. So we went, we had to take all the clothes to the cleaners for the horse show. And so we went and went to uh, the bookstore and I let them pick out books. And so they have lots of good summer reading. In fact, I should show you those if you want um, some ideas. I can probably find them all back. And then... Um, we took, I took them to get cherry berry, ice cream, cherry berry ice cream, so that was so fun. So we've been doing three chapters of, chapters of reading um, a day as well, just to try to kind of like not make it serious, but just, you know, keep them going a little bit. So when August comes around, they're not like totally summered out and have no and have done nothing all summer as far as like school goes so anyway they're gonna work on these and i'll go see if i can find their books i showed these on instagram but i'll just show them here too in case you don't follow me there but if you don't follow me there make sure you do because when i'm not blogging i'm always storying and posting on instagram so you can keep up with us there too but he had gotten this one actually i think it's right here yeah um he's almost done with it at sam's which you saw him pick that one up at sam's and so he wanted another one of these last kids on earth and they have been watching it on netflix too and really enjoying the series as well so this is my um nine-year-old he's going into the fourth grade um and then he wanted a um star wars book so he found this one i told him it had to be a chapter book he had one that was like a comic short book and i was like no that doesn't work <laughs> and then he loves the i survive series and he didn't have this one so we got the battle of d-day and then he has some books that are called gi dogs but this one's um these ones are called soldier dogs i think there was multiples but he loves anything pearl harbor so he got this one um to read this summer also so those were his four books that he picked out all right and these are the ones that my seven-year-old going into the second grade picked out i should mention we were at books of million um no not books a million i think that one is now close to <laughs> barnes and noble but i'm sure you can get all these on amazon um he picked this out we've never read any of these but he it had a cowboy on it and he thought it would be fun so he got that one we have a collection of these um stink books it's like from the judy moody movie her little brother stink he loves these um and we thought we had the first 10 but we only have one through eight and so we got number 11 so we'll have to get nine and ten so he has the whole set or has all the ones up to 11 but he got that one and and then I um, I feel like I've heard people talk about how good these are. Maybe even my sister-in-law, her boys, I think, read these. I think. I'm not sure. But it does say that they're the number one sports series for kids. And so he got a hockey one. Matt Christopher is the author. And then he got a baseball one. Um, and I think Mary will really like these as well. So they can kind of share these when Koi gets finished with them. But these are the four, four, four books that uh, McCoy picked out. Now they're gonna keep working and I'm gonna fold laundry because that's One, two, all I do y'all between horse shows, vacations, yeah. and baseball. All I do is laundry. <laughs> Everybody's screaming for grilled cheeses for lunch so that's going down. I'm gonna take some of my bread and some sharp cheese and make some for myself too. It doesn't look like much but it's delicious plus these high-low chips. Um, I got ranch, nacho, and the spicy salsa. They are all delicious. I love them for a quick little lunch. We're gonna have it um, and then watch the Sandlot 3. They recently discovered the Sandlot 2, and now they found that there's a Sandlot 3. Actually, it's called something. What's it called, Sandlot? Coming home. Coming home. So we're gonna watch that and enjoy our lunch. All right, I got my video done. The boys are doing Legos in the playroom and being crazy. It is time for some baking. This just needs, like I said, I got this at Ross. I don't know if you can get it on Amazon or not. Um, I'll link it if you can. Um, I'm just gonna use some almond milk. I have a cup of almond milk, two, tab two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and five um tablespoons of un um unsalted melted butter i had salted so it is what it is so i'm just gonna put these together make some cookies and then i'm gonna make the boys their matcha cookie bars I've 
got the cookies pulled out. They look amazing. I got the mock cookie bars ready to go in. And then I'm gonna be done baking for this day, y'all. Okay, y'all, they are good. I should have found some unsalted butter cheese because they're a tiny bit salty, but they're still delicious. Like I'm totally gonna eat them. But if I made them again, I'd do it with the unsalted. Anyway, I'm having an amazing um, cinnamon dolce primal coffee creamer coffee and some cookies for my afternoon snack. All done and giving me all the summertime feels, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's almost 5.30. I just shredded woo, <laughs> the chicken um, for the tacos. Uh, these are cool now. I'm just gonna put this on top of here. And then I put my cookies in a little container too. So that's all good to go. I think now I'm gonna see if Craig wants to go ahead and eat or if the boys wanna go ahead and eat before we work with horses. So then like we're done. We don't have to like rush in to eat or whatever. Cause sometimes they like to swim and we just like to sit outside when it's nice and cool in the evening. So I'll see if they want to go ahead and eat. That's what's nice about like having stuff ready in the crock pot or having whatever ready. Coy just had a bike wreck if he comes in screaming again, his stomach is all like rashed up. So that's great. Merritt's just now getting over his bike wreck. In fact, I didn't vlog, well, no, I didn't vlog any of that because I wasn't vlogging here, but he had, um, they both had a friend over about a week ago and they were riding bikes and Mary had a big wreck and um, hurt his arm um, kind of above his elbow and it had finally scabbed over and was doing better. And then in the hotel at the horse show Saturday night, he fell off the bed and hit something and that thing busted open and bled all over that hotel room. It looked like a murder scene. Craig had to go down and like tell the lady at the front desk what had happened. It's terrible. Anyway, it's probably scabbed back over. Now Koi is at a bike rack, so we need to be a little more careful on bikes. Anyway, um, I'll probably do that. But for now, I was going to show you. I uh, got the pictures in for our countdown, not countdown, checklist, state checklist wall. I just do them like this. I have them, um, there's Illinois down, or Wisconsin down there, and then Illinois, and then, um, I have Iowa already done. I have a picture of the boys and Craig at the Capitol, but I thought it would be more fun to do a national park from Iowa, so, um, or a national monument. So I'm going to cut those out and then I'll put them up on our, uh, map. And then also I wanted to show you this that I got. Turn the light on here. It's dark. Ooh, there we go. Um, I had said that I could not get an effigy mounds magnet because obviously the gift shop was not open so i took a picture and i took their little logo and then i just used some fonts and made this and printed it out or had it made from walmart.com from walmart.com walmart photo app or walmart photos whatever i don't know how to explain it but i just designed this and made it and had it printed onto a magnet for like three dollars so now we have an effigy mounds national monument magnet i was gonna do um like our picture and have it as the magnet but then i was like well that's gonna look weird because all the other magnets are like regular magnets from the actual place so i just did it so it looked like something that we got from there i didn't do an ornament but um i guess i could always do that later but we have the magnet Okay, I'm going to cut these out, talk to Craig, see what he wants to do about supper, and then we're going to get these on our map. Okay, let's see. Uh, will we focus? I got Wisconsin uh, put up there. Uh, there we are in front of the Wisconsin sign. Now I wanted to take this picture down of the boys and Craig in front of the Capitol and then put this one up with Illinois. I just kind of left it together. I thought that would be easier, so now I need to try to get this off and then... I'm gonna have to put the camera down and put this <laughs> up there. All right, we got it. There's us at Effigy Mounds. It's way over there in the very tip of Iowa, but it's still at Iowa. And then this is us in front of Ulysses S. Grant's um, home in Galena, Illinois. Oh my goodness, so much fun. I am hoping, I don't know if we'll get it done, but one, Craig and I are actually going to Nashville in August, but I think the boys, if we have it all planned right, will be it with my mom and daddy that whole time down in Mississippi. Um, but maybe like coming back, we can go through Tennessee. We are just way too close and go way too close to stuff in Tennessee for them not to have been um, to Tennessee. So we'll see if we can get um, get that one done this summer too to mark another one off the list. And honestly, Kentucky too, because we could go, my parents live about right here. We could go, back up to Iowa <laughs> and hit a few more states anyway I'm just all about getting the states marked off now but here they all are we got Montana Idaho Wyoming I did two pictures because I couldn't choose between Devil's Tower and Grand Teton um, North Dakota South Dakota Minnesota Wisconsin Iowa Illinois uh, Missouri that was at the Lego 
land place in Kansas City, uh, Hot Spring, well, Arkansas, Hot Springs National Park, Mississippi, of course, Alabama at the beach, Louisiana, down in New Orleans with our cousins, Texas. We got way more updated ones from Texas too, but I just think this one is so cute with them riding that longhorn steer. And then Oklahoma at Pawnee Bills Museum, Kansas, of course, at the uh, uh, Wizard of Oz Museum sitting on the Yellow Brick Road. And then Colorado at our favorite Rocky Mountain National Park. And then last, is Nebraska at Agate Fossil Beds. Like I said, some of these, like I could update. Um, I could update Missouri with something fun. This is already coming off. I don't. I didn't have very good tape. I'm gonna have to get something better. But um, and I could update a few others with newer pictures. But it's fine. It's just the thought that counts, and that uh, we have been to that state, and it's all marked off. I mean, we've pretty much covered the Midwest, y'all. We need to start going over here, and over here. This. This is what we have on our long-term bucket list, y'all. The D.C. area, Virginia, all of that. We can't wait. Time for supper! Okay, y'all. I think that's a wrap to this video. I'm going to enjoy my yummy taco. I cannot wait. We haven't had those in forever. Um, then we're going to figure out about horses and everything else for the evening. And I'm sure we'll take you along for lots of horse stuff um, throughout the summer. But tonight I'm going to end it here because I don't know how much footage I had from before. So I don't want it to be too long. Thanks so much for following me along today. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a bit of our summer fun. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.